two men meet each other in the city of Lankmar after fighting off some thieves in the Thieves Guild. One a big, tall, brawny man with a great big sword he calls Grey Wand. The other one a small, thin man carrying a long, slender blade, slightly curved, named Scalpel, and his trusty dagger, Catclaw. The big guy is named Favrin, and the smaller guy is named Mount the Grey Mauser. Together they form a pact there, and they, will, and they will share a series of adventures lasting many decades. The series I'm referring to is the Factor and Great Mouser series created by Fritz Leiber, which I have six of the seven books right here, and you know, the Three of Swords in this collection, and the Swordmasters in, in the other. As I said, six out of seven books. Yeah, and apparently, the book club I got these from decided not to publish, you know, bring out the seventh book to my disappointment. So I'm on the hunt for that. I'll give you, you know, give you at the end of this video a list of all the books, and so if you choose to collect them, you can. Now these two are not hero, you know, not noble heroes going after some great evil after a long adventure like say Lord of the Rings or even Harry Potter. No, these two had you know, separate individual adventures and some of them are lasting short stories while others last whole, whole novels. What kind of adventures? Well, the earliest one is them fighting off the local thieves guild in the city of Lankmar. And the others take place outside the city there, you know. Like you going up and get, you know finding treasure or, hit, um, or going out into the middle of the ocean there to find the Sea King's lair and end up into his bed war. Very interesting how they reach there. No, they just li they just um, fight, seek for treasure, live life to the fullest. They have loved women, they have lost, and they go through ups and downs, but they still stay together. They're scoundrels in every sense of the term, but very likable. You know, like some characters you could think of. These two characters have been, you know, been going around since the late 1950s, and the last story has been published sometime in the 80s. They're held. These um, these two characters have been along, been among the very finest of the sword and sorcery genre, or heroic fantasy, whichever one you prefer. They rank up right up there with Conan the Barbarian, Elric of Elnibane, and others. And I can see why they held off so you know held off so for so long. I mean, listen to the dialogue they have between each other; it's very comical. Some of their adventures have a humorous tinge about it. But other adventures they would probably have is you know, you know, ones where through the loss of the two women that they love, they end up each of them pledged to a different wizard. You know, um, one to um, Shioba, uh, who, who's, whose face you can never see. The other one ha is um, Nin Gobble, who has seven eyes. Each, you know, um, one has takes pledge, you know, well, to one, while the other one takes pledge to the other. Why did they do that? Mm, probably manipulation. What kind of jobs did the wizards send them up to do? Well, and how did they help them at times? One of my favorite stories about this is the Bazaar of the Bazaar, where the Mauser gets sucked into this, um, you know, what looks to be this elaborate shop where all these wonderful things can buy. Of course, the two wizards come up to Fafrin and try and tell him to get the Mauser out of here because it's a it's a um, um, plot, you know, about you know that's a trick. So how do you help him? Well, go ahead and read the story and find out. There another story in one of the novels there was where Fafrin Grey Mauser gets caught between two opponents: one who wields a two-headed serpent, and the other one is a woman who leads an army of intelligent rats. How did it get sucked into us? Again, you know, you'll find out in one of the last books. I definitely recommend these two. If you don't, if you just like a you know, two characters, you know, if you're if you're a role player who likes the idea of thief characters or scoundrels or rogues, these are the two guys for you. As I say, you know, the two books I have right here, these two are you know, just uh, the collection of three of the books. This well, um, H that is. But what if you're a comic book reader? Well, back in the seventies, they did produce from dark from DC. Um, their own series, if you like our, you know, like old-fashioned comics, you know, they did uh, make Fat and Grey Mouser ones under Sword and Sorcery. These are f um, four of them. I got two in this one, and they're interesting. But if you're wanting something more closer to Fritz Leiber's um, stories, the faithful adaptation of several of the stories were done by Dark Horse. You can get a cop, you know, you can get a trade of this. Fat and Grey Mouser. Howard Chaykin did the you know, adaptation. Mike Mignola of Hellboy fame has also done all the art, and it's wonderful to look through, and these are all faithful adaptations, including Bizarre and the Bizarre. So, so, um, uh, it's very much, I like, you know, I always did like these two characters. I myself like reading the old-fashioned sword and sorcery and fantasy genres, um, unlike it today. 
I'll probably make a video on what you know what I think about some of the newer stuff as compared to the old. But anyway, Baffer and a Grey Mauser, give them a read. Yeah, you'll definitely enjoy them. All right, thank you.